can't believe I'm saying this, but a true icon of international theatre, film and television has turned 80. But who? Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thanks so much for joining me today. Lovely to see you, as I often say, truly mean that. Welcome one and all brand new subscribers. Today, I really just wanted everybody to join me in wishing this particular gentleman a wonderful, happy birthday. And as I say, I can't believe it. He's reached 80. Not that he's reached 80 because he looks fabulous. Uh, but the bottom line is that we're talking, of course, about a man who created so many iconic roles, really. For my particular generation, all you had to do, you know, if you're in a school play, was to put on a gabardine mac, you know, something that looks like from Burberry's, but the cheaper version, you know, and a berry and go, oh, Betty. And of course, instantly you got a laugh. And it's also interesting to note that that particular star of that show, Michael Crawford actually said, you know, it really was an ad lib, it wasn't part of the script. Now, Michael Crawford is a major international star and I'm lucky enough to call him a good friend. The last time that we appeared together was at a very posh do uh, where he kindly asked me to host uh, an evening with to celebrate a centenary, I believe it was 30 years, something like that, for um, Phantom of the Opera. And this was at the Victoria and Albert Museum. And uh, I'll let you into a bit of a secret. As I said, they were quite posh at the V&A. And this woman got up and uh, she said, um, now, Neil, I don't want you to turn it in. <laughs> she said, I don't want you to turn it into a pantomime. It's a serious intellectual chat. These people have come along to meet Michael. And of course, you know, we're, we're going to find out more. But it has to have some integrity. Well, as you can imagine, that went down well. And we decided to get it cheering, singing along. And Michael and I absolutely had a ball. Before the pandemic, I've got to tell you, there was um, early stages talks of myself and Michael going on the road for an audience with in various theatres up and down the United Kingdom, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales, which I thought would have been a huge sellout. I mean, not think, I know it would be. He's simply that popular. And as I say, for a man who's created so many iconic roles like Phantom of the Opera, which really, when you think of Phantom, I don't know if you agree and as ever, let me know what you think in the comments below. But when you think of Phantom, I just think of Michael Crawford. I know there's been some wonderful Phantoms since, and there still are some beautiful girls, of course, playing Christine right now on the stage in London and on Broadway, plus around the world. But he really, truly did make that role his own, as he did, of course, Frank Spencer. But I was more fascinated having him starring at a very young age opposite another musical and international singing icon, Barbara Streisand in a low dolly. The stories we shared when we were sitting gossiping backstage at the London Palladium were simply marvellous. But for now, let's just all raise a glass, maybe even a cup of Horlicks if you got one, <laughs> and wish the wonderful Michael Crawford, OBE, a sensational and wonderful birthday. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.